the Rollercoin Multiverse Batham is now live on Rollercoin with this new progression event that has started a few moments ago. And also we have the final craft going on. Let's check them out on that Teco guy. Stay tuned. Okay, so Roller Multiverse Bat Ham is a progression event that's currently going on on Rollercoin. That started a few moments ago at the time of recording this video. Uh, actually, it started late last night and I'm recording this the next day. So here it is on the game section of Rollercoin, as you can see. At the banner at the top, we've got Roller Multiverse Bat Ham, and we're going to check out more details like I always like to do and go through the rewards list of this progression event. So more details. We can see here that there are still three days, six hours and 12 minutes remaining at the time of recording this video. And the most powerful miner in this progression event is Kryptonite at 4.2 petahash. Per second. We'll be checking out the rewards list shortly as well and I'll be showing that uh, from Piero's list in a moment like I always like to do. Going through the points, get to a higher difficulty level in a game, that's 600 points. Spending one LT anywhere except in the marketplace and except in the crafting offer, that's going to give you 1,499 points. Spending one RLT in the marketplace will give you 350 points and spending one RLT for the crafting offer will give you 3,003 points. These points are for each and every RLT that you spend, obviously for getting to a higher difficulty level in a game, that is for each level that you advance for each and every game for the difficulty and not for each game that you play. So for every three of the same game that you play, you will get 600 points. Uh, again, these points are without the multiplier, so if you do have a multiplier, you need to multiply the points accordingly, depending on your multiplier. So going now to Piero's list, we're going to check out all the rewards and bonuses attached to the miner, and here is the list. So going from level 1 to level 20, and then we have one premium level, which is that Crypto Knight at level 21. Starting from the top, we've got 15 RST, which will help you to spend those RST tokens before the season ends and get something really nice and powerful. Event pass for those of you that haven't completed the season yet, the season miners and getting all of those rewards from the season, this event pass will help you get that little bit closer as well. We've got 7 EXP at level 2 and another 20 EXP at level 5 as well. Another 100 RST at level 7 and then we've got a couple of racks further down with 3% bonus at level 8 and 2% bonus rack at level 11 and that is pretty much it for the racks for this progression event uh, going down further in the list we can't we can see that many of the miners here do not have a bonus uh, but you will get obviously the power even if you do have the miners you'll get even more power and you can even merge them to create even more powerful miners and get bonuses when you actually merge the miners there's the ban hammer master for example i don't have that one so i'd be getting 132 Terahash if I actually managed to get to level 15. Okay, there's um, also Pinguino Machina at 850 Terahash with a 1% bonus attached to it. And the Amethyst, that is 2 Petahash there. No bonus attached to it, but you get 2 Petahash. If you have another one of those, you can merge them and you'll be able to get more power and the bonus as well. And last but not least, at level 21, we've got Crypto Knight at 4.2 Petahash and there is a 2.5% bonus attached to that miner as well. So running through the totals, for level 1 to level 20, you get 4 petahash and 1.61% bonus. There's 250 terahash of temporary power that you can get at level 4 right here, and that's going to be on for a whole week, so you'll have an extra 250 terahash of power for an entire week. You've got 27 EXP and 150 RST. The temporary power season bonus there and the RST will, are all the same for the premium level, but at the premium level, you will double that four petahash to 8.2 petahash with a 4.11% bonus because at level 21, the Kryptonite has that 4.2 petahash and 2.5% bonus. Uh, which will obviously 
uh, accumulate all of the rewards even more okay so that's a pretty cool miner you can actually buy this miner i did actually check already but to buy it i believe it's over 200 rlt at the time of recording this video so if we just quickly just check that out as well and go to the marketplace and we go to crypto night i will show you that first hand so 231 RLT at the time of recording this video and there are four available so yes you can buy it but it's going to cost you probably more than it would if you were actually to try to complete the entire progression event with a multiplier at the time of recording this video as well there is a 35 percent discount on Matic so be sure to leverage that opportunity and use that to get higher multipliers more RLT by spending less crypto to exchange to RLT because there is that 35% discount going on on Matic. When you do exchange Matic, important to RLT, you don't have Matic, maybe you have BNB, there's a 20% discount on BNB. Okay, so another thing that I'd like to mention in this video is that currently there is also the final craft going on. So if you actually managed to get all of those players like I did, there is the great final craft and that's going to uh, take you uh, around two days to be able to craft. I actually started this yesterday when the craft did start and it has already been crafting for a few hours already. So I've still got another one day, five hours, 17 minutes and 24, 23, 22 seconds remaining to get that 16 peta hash ballon roller door and I will be able to have that in my arsenal of miners as well. For this craft, at the time of recording this video, there's still one day, six hours and five minutes remaining. As usual, do not worry if you see this as even one hour or even 10 minutes. If you actually press that craft button, then yes, you will be able to claim that even after the craft is over, as long as you press the craft button, the manual craft button that you need to press, in order to start crafting this in time during the crafting event, then you will be fine even if the event expires while you were still crafting it, as long as you clicked and pressed that craft button. Here I can speed up the craft if I wanted to, if I had enough dodge, which I don't, and that will always start going down as time passes. But obviously I'm not just, I'm, I'm not gonna speed that up. I'm, not, I'm in no rush to do that. So I'm just gonna leave that crafting on its own and Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get that and put that on my racks as well. So that is pretty much all I wanted to tell you for this one. The Roller Multiverse Backhand Progression Event and the final craft. So get to it and try and get all those rewards in the progression event as well to continue to add up your power. I hope that you found this video useful and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.